to Coach Lara. Yep. Yeah, he's Ooh, like the assi well co-coach. Start yeah. of the second term here, three six playing four two. Lava gets the first tap down, and Will Kelly goes back to get the footy. Can't pick it up. Fantella in support. Goes towards a vacant half forward flank. Barlow runs across. Bath's with him as well. Bath gets there first but leaves the footy behind. He pushes Barlow past it though. Needs some support. Got some. Brad Watts runs away easily from half back. Goes, drives Great long. play. Jacques comes out. Urquhart's against him. Holds him up. And then he taps the ball on towards Milburn. Jeez, that was late. And advantage paid. So the ball out to with Brad Watts. Goes towards Tom who goes up. Can't take the mark. Addy against him. And he keeps the pressure on. He dropped the footy. That's holding the ball. Punts from the nachos. And it's going to be a free kick to Bell Post Hill. Last line of defence. Addy switches the play. Goes to the back pocket. Or, in fact, into the goal square. And Welv has taken the mark. They've switched the play, but had nowhere to go further up the no, ground. He's uh, held up now. He's thought about Zulik short. He's under pressure. He goes to the pocket. The back pocket, that is. And he's kicked it out the floor, I think. Lima can't take the mark. No. So in our footy, when that happens, he can just run through the goals. Yep. And yeah, there's no free. Absolutely. Well, it did. they yeah. didn't last long on yeah. television. Yeah. But he yeah. kicked it off the ground. <laughs> Doesn't matter, mate. He's 25 yards in the clear. It's a stupid don't, rule anyway. Don't get Dale started on that. No, it's a defense. stupid rule anyway. Yeah, boundary throw it. 25 around from the goal. Punched away. Bell post till under pressure. Zulik's going to be under pressure. He gets the kick away. Just Lentini and free kick. So down to where Lentini was. He'll take the free kick for Bell post Hill. After Zulix had got rid of the football and, and got dumped. So still inside defensive 50. He's got Welv. They're the ones you can afford to do. And it's a good kick too to Welv at half back. Under, uh, uncontested. Takes the mark. Burke gives him a lead. Not much else though. Holes fine. He's got Fantella short. Barlow gives him a lead now. Goes in that direction. He's not going to reach it though. Reek in front. Or oh, should have taken the chest mark. Etridge pushed off the football without it by Peters. Fantella comes in. Handball to Brad Watts. Watts Kick again. around the corner towards half back. No mark taken. Stevenson kept it in front. Addy tried to push him off the football. And oi, stuff is nearly over as well. Stevenson was there. Right on the boundary line. Well, short kick to Holes fine. Should have taken the mark as well. Bit of pressure. Tyquin's handball. Broman runs past the football. Coming the other way, Lentini. Little toe poke towards Etridge. Needs some support. Fursland straight at the football. Lentini as well. Umpire says. Well, he's going to put him now. He is going to put him. I thought he got one oh, high early. He's waiting an hour and a half to do something. Well, I don't know whether you should be waiting that long. Just go and grab it. So, ball up in between. Come on, Matty. Forward and centre wing. 4 2 26. Bell post still. Bannock 3 6 24. Three minutes played, second term. Yeah, it's pretty scrambly in there. The ball finally out. Tykeman and Lentini. Lentini knocks the ball further afield. Jervis coming the other way. Picks the ball up. Left it behind this time. Uh, on his hands and knees. Picked up by Will Kelly. Handball's over the top to Sulik. Sulik's now goes back into the half forward line. Taylor, that was a nice clean pickup. But now he's in trouble because he's got it here. <laughs> he's been bear hugged by Cole. And well, that was holding the ball. The and Josh Cole. That was holding the ball, Smitty. What was that? He picked it. No genuine of... attempt. Uh, well, I didn't know. You saw that last night, didn't you? Oh, yes, and there's a high That's a free high. kick. There's a sell one again. So Jackie Broman wins another free kick. Fantella over the top. No genuine attempt as he's just going like that. So Broman short goes towards centre wing. Hoey's back there. Danny takes the mark. Goes on quickly into the half forward line. Harding in front over the top. Sulik set him up that time. Out the back. Stevenson arrives. Can he get win possession? He does. Needs to get rid of it. Ball taps it out. Picked up by Tyquan again. Got the handball back towards Watts. And he's uh, got the handball away Brilliant. to Howie. Howie now looks up and goes back into the forward line in space by himself. The mark has been taken there by Harding. And BJ Harding from a similar position, uh, other end of the ground, obviously, but uh, similar distance. We'll go back and try and put Bannockburn back in front. <laughs> Where's the line? How far out is he? Oh, I reckon he's forward. He's going to have to kick at 40, I reckon. Yeah. Yes. Yep. He's just inside the 50. Uh, BJ Harding, this will be testing distance. Accurate kick, not a long kick, but Harding steps inside now, loads up, goes long, is going across and is just offline through for a minor score. BJ Harding, one goal, one, and 3 7 now to Bannockburn. And Bell Post still on 4 2. And we have gone four and a half minutes, second quarter, coming off in hotel, second quarter scoreboard. Geez, you're a miser, Mozza. Lima kicks it in, looks for well. Diving mark, took it under pressure. Milburn stands the mark. Fresh from the back pocket. Yep, it's gone down a degree or two. Now he goes to Barton, takes it in front of Arclay. 
That half back for Bell Post Hill first and says kick it long. Kick it to me on centre wing. Goes in that direction now. He's got the sit. Stevenson goes up. Front and centre Barlow. Beautiful. Fantastic play to Burke. Who should have done better. Well, he overrun the damn Ran past the football. Tyquin didn't. He got the kick away towards half forward. Urquhart needs to turn around. Harding. Oh, pinched by Barton. Tries to rove. He gets the handball away to Fantella. Outboard towards half forward. In behind Costello. Got a couple against him. Jervis picked it up nicely. Kicked it around the corner. And did okay and got the ball out wide. And Jake Peters takes the mark. Goes long with a kick inside 50. Tom, Addy, right next to him. And Addy will be happy with the boundary line. Sees it over. And they're having a great tussle down there. And we'll have a throw in 35 around from the Bannockburn, uh, from the Bannockburn goal. Kick to the northern end. They're 3 7 25. Ball post till 4 2 26. Boundary throw in. Neither Ruckman get an effective tap. Ball comes out though towards Lovett at half back. Handballs it back to Holes Find. He goes back in board. Lentini, some space. Plays on, kicks the outboard to Big Fella. Love Look it. At him. He does nice. Like a rover. Runs away, goes from centre wing to half forward. Ball just sits up. Costello takes the mark, oh, wants to play on quickly. Here. Back in board. Burke has to sit. If it sits, he's away. He's got under pressure. He picked it up. He gets around one. He handballs it back to Etridge. Little bit of candy. Goes kick on it. the right foot. And goes across the face of goal. Mm. And does Parsons keep it in? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Three for one behind. Geez, that was a bad kick. He had two Bell Post Hill players sit down and he kicked it 10 metres past them. 4 3 27. Bell Post Hill, Bannockburn 3 7 25. Six and a half played second term. So Parsons plays onto himself now, comes out. Club room side of the ground. Cole in front, out the back, and good mark. It wasn't taken there by Fulton. Tackle picked up by Flackavento, and he's brought to ground. I'm playing quickly, Nachos. And there's going to be a ball up just outside Ford 50. Bell Post Hill back into attack. Run up again by the umpire. Again, Fulton goes at the ball, taps it down, picked up. Milburn got the handball away. Broman in some space now, runs away from Fantella, takes one bounce, two. There's his third bounce as he continues to run through the middle. Lentini's in hot pursuit, decides and goes long into the forward line. Jark's in best position, can't take the mark, picked up, or picked up by Tom. Yeah, nearly, <laughs> uh, nearly, grabbed, worry, nearly, nearly dropped it's it. So good, and the ball is kicked out in the contest, picked up again by Peters. Peters goes back to Broman, who's made good position. The pos <laughs> He's got the ball outside 50, tackle, brought the ground, good chase, Belpo still, and they win possession of the ball on the half back line. So it's now in the hands of Attila Sulix. And he's got the ball on the half back line for Belpo still. So they just look to bring the ball around the boundary now, towards centre wing. Over the top, ball hits the ground, picked up by Banks, got out of that contest nicely, went back into the half-forward line. Ball favours Jervis, handballs inside to Peters, Peters back outside to Jervis, runs inside, 50, loads up, goes low at goal. Go, son, you beauty! And puts his uh, first goal on the board for the afternoon and the fourth for Bannockburn. Four goals, seven Bannockburn, 4-3. Bell post hill, eight and a half minutes gone. Second quarter, coming to Fiend Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. And there's the run in the legs. He's just run around. I know we've seen Connor Jervis do that a few times during the year, but when he does go for the run, I know he hit the post up the other end, but usually he kicks the goal, so... That's the type of thing that Bannockburn are going to start to do, and I don't know where Bell Post Hill's legs are going to come from to stop that type of thing. Bit of drizzle, grub. Well, that's who does that help? When the ground gets heavy, it helps them. I reckon it, normally it would help Bell Post, but with their legs heavy from five weeks, I'm not sure. So sure. Back in the middle, Fulton gets it down, holds fine, roves it. Gets a kick away towards half forward. Guido Banks goes back, can't take the mark. Etridge comes out from 50. Gets it, gets away, does he? Oh, he straight, does. does nicely. Good gets boy. away to Fantella. Off a step, just pops it up. 30 line. Costello. Oh, I dropped it. Dropped the dollar the mark. And now at the back, Bowden under pressure. Gives it away to Costello outside of the right boot. And has missed it. Missed it. Oh. Through for one behind. 1-1 one, one to Nick Costello. Should have marked that, though. 4-4-28, four, four, the Panthers. Bannockburn, 4-7-31. And that's on the Commonwealth Hotel second quarter scoreboard. Nine and a half minutes played. So Parsons now kicking in for Bannockburn once again. He plays onto himself again. Steps outside the goal square. Goes long outside 50 in front. Mark's not taken by Cole. Watts front and square. Couldn't pick the ball up the first time. Went back and collected it. Then gave it to Flacavento. He got the handball away again. Howie this time over the top of the ball. Ball comes out the back. Bell post hill. The ball's already out, mate. So he can't. The ball's already out. So which way is it going to go to? The umpire didn't see the ball come out then. 50, 50, meter 50 penalty. and I think that's come from the bench. It has. It did. Yeah, absolutely right. 
And that's turned it into pretty much a certain goal. I don't know where he's running, but he just goes straight towards goal, though. <coughs> well, he didn't do that earlier in the other game. They took him to a full pocket. So, Justin Tarp. So, Ooh. Peter Riccardi just pointed at Jack Broman on the bench. I don't know if he was telling him to keep everyone down or maybe he was explaining what had just happened. But... So, Justin Tarr now, an opportunity again to put Belpo still back in front. And he uh, don't think distance is going to be any trouble here. Oh, you don't think? No, I don't think so. I reckon he might get it from here, Grub. So Tarr steps in, kicks the goal. And he has stuck it through for a goal for Justin Tarr. His first goal of the afternoon. And Bell Post Hill, their fifth. They're 5 4 34. Bannockburn, 4 7 31. And we have gone 11 minutes. Second quarter, Common Fiend Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. I think you're right. I can see Peter Riccardi having a go at some of the people in the box to say, just calm down. And really, uh, we, when the players do it, I hope it was a player actually because mm. then what can happen is you can tell somebody, you can see the down, but if it's one of the coaches, all of a sudden the discipline goes out the window and if you haven't got discipline in a grand final, if it's going to be tight, you're going to get beat. So obviously it was a bad one. I couldn't see where the free kick come from. Actually there was 50 blokes on the board. I didn't know who dragged it in. Back to the middle. Love it. Fulton, lo Fulton gets a second tap down towards Cali. Tyquin's in there as well. Can't take it away with him. He's wrapped up and the umpire will come in and ball it up. Ball up just inside the centre square. Love it, Fulton. Either get an effective tap. We'll have a look in a minute. Dale, ball. Pisano pulled off the uh, football. Holes fine at the back. Urquhart left it for Barton. He handballs it to Lima. Running from half back to centre wing. Goes with a kick now. Turner on a lead. Good mark. Takes it. So right on centre wing. Goes with the right foot kick. Towards half forward, Page on a long lead comes out. Off hand, side of the pack. Etridge, close to the boundary line. Out in the full. And out in the full, I think this time it is. Yeah, it was plenty of pressure. Pushed as he kicked it legally. And Vanning Burn will take the free kick. And Cole take the free kick. Goes with the kick now outside 50. Fulton's there. Milburn as well. Off hand, Barton at the back. Nathan Kelly through the middle, threw it away. Oh, that's a throw, isn't it? Tizano taps it on. Jervis straight-lined it, got the kick inside. Zulix and Stevenson. Oh, Weld comes in as well. Off the back of the pack, Jake Peters. Goes with the right foot, kick out wide. Tom on a long lead in front of Addy. Can he trap it? Addy gets, he works his way to the front, does nicely. And Boundary line will be his friend there. He's pretty happy to see it over. And they'll have a throw in right half forward. Tigers into attack. Northern end of the ground there, 4 7 31. They trail Bell, who's still 5 4 34. And we played 13 minutes in the second term. So, ball out to be to uh, take place. Bank Burn have worked their way to the uh, half forward line. Ball out the back, picked up. Howie tries to work his way through the contest. Taken down, picked up, going the other way. Lima goes back outside towards centre wing. Mark not taken out there. Bowden and also Popovsky. Popovsky working pretty hard there. Does nicely. Kept the ball in. See, that's the free kick under the legs. Now, that was OK because the pop actually dove at the ball. Uh, yeah, so the other one was already one. down. Uh, there was no dust in it, and there was a bit no ball either. Well, so the ball, that would have been into the forward line, coming out. Mark not taken there by Milburn. Goes back and collects it, taps it to Fantella. Wrong play, picked up by Barton, got the handball away. And they're away and running again. Lentini gets a handball from Turner. His kick smothered by Banks coming the other way. Turner went back and collected it once again. So he now steps and goes back into the forward line. Coming up, Page. Outside 50, long way from goal. Has a look at his next option. He's going to go long in towards Tar. Coles with him. Front position. Ball in front of the contest. Picked up Barlow. Round the body. Goes back towards goal. Which way will it bounce through for a minor score? Jakey Barlow, one behind. 5-5 five, five to the bell post hill side. Four goals, seven. Bannock Burn, and we have gone 14 minutes, second quarter. Quick kick in. Kelly goes towards Jarks. Flacavento goes up. Can't take the mark. Jervis off the back. At half back. Good, good, right good it. kick towards Tom. It's a good kick. He takes the mark on his chest at centre wing. Just to play on quickly. Goes towards the uh, half forward flank. Jarks. Folded up. Took the mark. 12 stands the mark. Plays on quickly. Goes in towards half forward. They've done a three man ring circus here. Jervis. He gets it back in board. Kick wasn't great. Off the back Zulix. But uh, 
Brad Watts wanted it more, then he lost it though. He fell, he fell over. over. You've got to keep your feet. And Burke can get away. He does. Two bounces, runs through half back, can get to the middle, handballs it. Will Kelly, one handed, but got enough time now. Can he step around tight when he does? Goes with a right foot kick to nobody in particular. Fursland wants to sit and wait for it. Peters against him. Gets around, just gets the kick away. Nathan Kelly, he had it with one hand as well against Will Kelly. Handballed it up to Link Peters. He gets the handball away quickly to Milburn, into Broman. He's handballed it, Tyquin, four to the centre circle. Goes long towards full forward. Tom over the back, Addy there as well. It'll back keep going. the goal no. line. Urquhart's there. Can he touch it before yeah. it goes through? Yes, yes he, he can. can. Lucky. And three, nah, he four. was always going to get that. One behind. So they go to 4 8 32 Bannockburn. <laughs> They trail Bell Post till 5 5 35, and that's Common Affine Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. 15 and a half played. Lima short to the back pocket, Merkin again takes the mark. So, as I said, Bannock been most of the day, they've allowed Bell Post Hill to go through that pocket. The next kick comes out, this time low and flat, and the mark couldn't be taken there by Jervis, and it's over the boundary line, so we're going to have a throw in to take place. I reckon just outside forward 50. Club room side. Umpire now puts the ball back into the plate. Out the back, ball will flow. Picked up, Peters. Oh, I don't know whether that was a correct position, way to get rid of the ball. Picked up by Broman, went back towards goal. Can he bring it back far enough? I don't think he can. Through for a minor score. Broman one goal, one. Vanek burn four, nine. That's good kicking, wins games of footy. They have had trouble all year. Five, five, bell post still. 16 minutes gone. Second quarter. Coming to Fiend Hotel scoreboard. So line up. footy BJ <laughs> Mr. Cool Lima plays on from full back goes towards Flagavento Bill Byrne in front Barton does the roving handball over the top Flagavento close to the boundary line Bill Byrne well, I don't think he over. had the footy he didn't <laughs> how, how can you not pay a free kick like that the boundary throw in left half forward Tigers into attack Boundary throw in, and a free kick. <coughs> Black Avento and Jervis. I think there's going to be a report here. Urquhart, I think, is it? So he has to come yeah, back yeah, on. Come back on to get seen off. Yeah. And well, this can be a serious thing. What did he do? Well, he must have whacked him. He, he went past, him. but yeah. A yellow card, Urquhart, 15 minutes off. Pisano, BJ wants to have a crack at him as well. What, so even the emergency umpire can come on and give yellow cards now? Well, that's ridiculous. <coughs> They're not good enough to get a game, sit in the box and shut up. He can be replaced, so Pisano can go on. Yeah, but it was the emergency umpire that sent him off. That's ridiculous. So Jervis has the free kick, goes short to Fulton. Still at half forward flank for Bannockburn. How can that be? And now Fulton goes... Into the pocket. Jervis can't take the mark. Flacaveno against him. Handballs it over his head towards Jacques, but uh, it's out of bounds for a throw in. <coughs> Tell you what, though, it's a good time to have a go back at him like BJ. He can't hit you because then he'll get a red. He won't be able to come back. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> BJ's an angry ant, too, so he loves that sort of stuff. So, boundary throw in. I've never seen Willie Ark at Burkhardt do that. No. So, boundary throw in. Punched away. From the ruck contest, Flacavento can't pick it up. Bannock, uh, Belpo still with the numbers, comes to Burke. Free kick over the shoulder, Nachos had picked out. Ooh. And free kick going to go to Holes find. She's over away too. What happened to the advantage there? No advantage. <laughs> so the ball into Burke. Just playing the possessions at half back, Belpo still. Pretty uh, well. <coughs> Designed though the Bannockburn. They all want to get in the act, these umpires, and they just want to get in the act. It's grand final day. Kick Jeez. over the top, Zulix takes the mark, point of the centre square at half back. So under pressure, goes out wide, looking for holes fine. Broman's there. Did well though, holes find off the back. Goes inside, Etridge over the back. Link Peters should have taken the mark. Turner. Right, right, Rose tries to tape it on to Etridge. Got someone there. Out. He chips it to Costa to Popper. Popper. Running, Popper. Popper, 30 out. Oh Mitchell. no. There is some sort of magnet behind that point post on that right. This is 5 6 36 Bell Post Hill. They lead Batty Bird 4 9 33. Common Hotel, second quarter scoreboard. 19 and a half minutes played. 
So ball in quickly to the back pocket. Mark has been taken out there by Tykeman. He's just settling himself down now. He goes back and loads up, goes long towards centre wing out there. Cole also with him as Tar. Tar first to recover. Able to tap the ball forward. Picked up. Etridge, little look up. Nice little kick in towards centre forward. Barlow couldn't take it. Fantella front and square. Goes back long in towards the goal square. Ball runs over the top. Milburn's there. And also Popovsky. Ball is pushed through for a minor score. And a bell post till now to five goals seven. And Bannockburn on 4 9. So they've come in very quickly. And a few out here, too. Reek. Reek goes towards BJ Harding. Ball needs to stay in field of play. He couldn't Ooh, pick the ball you up want to keep it. your eye on it, son. Yeah, that's right. Picked up. Cole gets a handball away. Gave it straight towards Timmy Barton. Barton over the top. Will Kelly steps back inside. Goes to Fantella. Looks up and puts the position towards uh, Burke. He couldn't take the mark. At the back. Ball is picked up. Bannockburn through Peters. Go no, back towards centre wing. But the only one standing there is. Uh, now, Cam, Cam Addy. Addy. Long way from goal. And looking for Jason Tom. The ball goes out wide down well. Well short. And the mark taken there by Etridge. So just outside 50. The next kick's got to be the one that goes in now. And he goes towards the goal square. Milburn out the back. Oh, now, Costello just the stands there. Go? Uh, no push, and they the say. Mark has right. been taken. So Nick Costello can go back and kick his second goal of the afternoon. And extend the lead of Bell Post Hill. Don't say anything, will you? Don't say anything. What, that don't Nixon? say anything. <laughs> God, the last one you said, what did you say? Not a long kick, but very accurate. He made the distance and missed. So just be quiet. Okay. Oh, Nick Costello. Thank you, Smitty. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Smitty. Thank you, Smitty. Six goals, seven to the Bell Post Hill side. They lead Bannockburn on four goals, nine. We have gone 22 minutes. Second quarter coming to Fiend Hotel scoreboard. Well, they've got a lead. I don't know if it's a big enough lead to, to hold on to, but they've got a lead. They've worked very, very hard this quarter. But when you say about their legs, they've got so many tall blokes around the ground, Bannockburn, with Cole, the two Coles and, and the Fultons and Tom. It's also the jumping. At the moment, they're jumping up and spoiling these blokes, but deep in the last quarter, when your legs are gone, it's very hard not just to run, but to jump up and spoil these big blokes. So, with the umpire in the middle of the ground. Which one's your favourite out of the Fulton Scrubby? Uh, Kieran. Very good. So you know why? Why is that? Well, I don't know the other blokes' names. No, back in the middle, ball thrown <laughs> up, ball comes down again, runs towards Fantella. Well, he's a bit of fancy work, trying to get back over the top. Burke's there to assist, and so, so Kelly. He takes it, goes to ground. Umpire Nacho says going to come back to me so a ball up similar position to the centre circle just looking to get the ball out now and it's thrown up by the umpire both umpires uh, the umpire Ruckman both go at it they Milburn hands and knees got the one through the legs Fantella little tap off the ground runs towards uh, centre wing going across his Peters Fersland's with him ball now in dispute Fersland over the top Timmy Arklay arrives to lend support and it comes out it's going to be a uh, ball up, I think, once again, on centre wing. Can we mention it? Do you want us to mention it? Yeah. I'm going to go around the ground, around inside. So another ball up to take place. All up by Nacho. He's just hit the ground there. Quick kick off the ground. Ball goes as far as Tygon or how it was. And the ball's now back in that same position. Umpire will have to come in again and take the ball from him. But he's let things go. Barton trying to rip the ball out of the contest. And it's going to be a, another ball up to take position. Far side of the ground. Still inside the centre square. So Fulton has done a lot of the luck work. Ball is thrown up. Tapped down. Came out at the back. Picked up by Burke. Tackled. Brought to ground. Went to Barton. Barton got the handball away. Fersland puts uh, Kelly into space. Goes to Burke. Burke boots the ball into the forward line in front. Mark not taken there by Page. Picked up by Parson. Came out the back. Tried to get the handball away. Pushed off it there by Luke uh, Turner. Turner goes towards goal. Ooh. Lukey Turner. He's got his first goal of the afternoon. And now the seventh for Bell Post Hill. 7-7. Seven to seven, The Bell Post Hill. 4-9. Bannock and 24 minutes have gone. Come on, I mean, no tell. Second quarter scoreboard. Jeez, look, I, I know it's easy sitting from here and hard from there, but see, there was some, a, a nice heavy hit there that put the Bannockburn player off the ball, but unfortunately it came from his teammate, and he just wasn't aware it was his teammate, and the ball spilled loose. You've just got to be a little bit more smart in those things. If you're going to run in and bump, bump an opponent, don't bump your own mate. So, back to the middle. 17 points of difference. Bell post tilt. In the ascendancy. Lovett gets it down. Burke in the middle. Left foot kick towards the half forward again. Tar works his way to the front. Doesn't sit for a no. Cole against him. Ball in dispute. 
Arklow got the handball back towards Bath. Back towards Tar. It's run through the middle without the football, though. Ball still in dispute at half forward. And the umpire will... Oh, he said, no, look at that. Oh, have a look at that. Hey, am I an idiot? Like Skippy can yes, you are. Are. I'm an idiot. Yeah, yes, I finally idiot. gave him some vote. No one worked it out. You are an idiot. There's only one for... Oh, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he said it on the show <laughs> last time. Hey, I'm an idiot. Three yeah, games, that. three times. Ball. Here's the other one. Bart over the back. <laughs> <laughs> Coles finds handball. Fantella, Cole runs the other way. Ball still in dispute at half four for Bell Post Hill. And then he picks oh. up. I don't know where that came from. Oh, anyway, Bell geez. Post Hill take the free kick. So Reese Burke with the football at half forward. Chips the ball short. Fantella at 50. Takes the mark. Turner gives him a short lead. He goes even shorter. Etridge. Handballed it up, but nobody there for Bell Post Hill. Parsons gets a clearing kick towards centre wing. Fulton uh, against a couple. On hands and knees now. He tries to get the ball away. Lentini. And ball still in dispute there on centre wing. It'll take an hour and a half for the umpire to make a decision. Oh, he's oh, jumped. Look at him. Come on. Oh, God's sake. Oh, no. Picked out another points. No. So Barton will take the free kick. I think they're getting it wrong. So he is. So he goes inside 50 again. Ta sticks the hands up and takes the mark. Plays on quickly from 50. Puts it into the goal square. Costello one on one against Guido. He's done Looking well there. Yeah. He's done well there. Too strong for Guido. And Nick Costello will shoot from 10 metres out directly in front for his third. Well, I tell you what, when the ball's out there and, you, and you're running and chasing, Guido's going to beat Cossie every time. But in the square, with strength, if they leave him there, he's going to be too strong and too smart for the kid. So Nick Costello, 26 and a half played second term. is to make the margin 23. Comes in. 10 out directly in front, southern end of the ground, and kicks the goal. So his third. And Bell Post will go to 8 7 55. They lead Bannockburn 4 9 33. Common Affine Hotel, second quarter scoreboard, 27 minutes played. Uh, look, I hate having a go at umpires, and it's a hard job, but I, I just can't see. Look, I, the, the Bannockburn bloke did drag it in at first, and then he pushed it out. So it actually came out. Then everyone piled up on top of it. I don't know who was jumping. I don't think the umpire did either. I think he paid it for the first bloke that dragged it in, but he actually got it out and left it sitting there. So I think he got it wrong. I think that's about the second or third one of, of that type of decision that they've got wrong. So ball back with the umpire, middle of the ground. Nice little break here now for well, Bell Post I was going to say that, Smitty. Just by the way, I think they've got the lead they needed so far. Think over 27, so it wouldn't be long in this quarter. Over the top, ball comes down. Tycon boot the ball, goes quickly into the forward line. Lime is going to lead in the race with the ball. Bounce, how does it go? Outside, it runs. Lime is able to keep the ball in front of himself. And now taps the ball over the boundary line. So we'll have a ball in to take place. Inside forward 50 for Bannockburn. A late opportunity possibly for them. So ball to be out, thrown back in. And then does so now. Barton taps it front of the contest. Ball comes out. Barton again with some strength, able to work his way out of the contest. And he now He's goes long. Good. He has. And he goes long towards centre wing. Over the back, the ball runs. Etridge first to arrive. Does nicely. Taps it back to Page. Page to Barlow. Has a little bit of time now to steady. Goes into the forward line. Behind. Parson. Good spoil from behind. Goes towards Watts. Tries to get away from Lentini. Goes back to Peters. Rode the bump. Got the handball away. Missed the siren. target. Picked up. As the siren, uh, just as well because Jay Nippy just missed, but it's two for no score. And at half time, Bell Post Hill will go in at eight goals, seven. Yes, 55, yep. and I reckon it's 4 9 33 yep. to Bannockburn.